Hi, I'm Dr. Haid, and I'm with Generation Next Fertility, and we're going to talk about endometrial and ovarian PRP. PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. Uh, this is a new experimental therapy that we offer at Generation Next Fertility, um, and it's a novel approach and really the only approach available to try in for women with low and or diminished ovarian reserve to amplify and increase the ovarian reserve and the number of antral follicles competing for ovulation in a monthly cycle. Uh, so let's talk about how is this a novel approach. Well, traditionally and currently, there's no therapy that improves someone's ovarian reserve. So the probability of pregnancy is really based on a woman's age and the, the age predicts what's the likelihood of a single egg creating a live birth and the number of follicles competing in a month represent how many chances that that woman possibly has in creating a live birth in that month. The medications we traditionally give for uh, in vitro fertilization or IVF therapies are to just allow those follicles competing for ovulation to grow and go towards ovulation. So the more follicles that ovulate, the better the chance that one of them will create a live birth. So with this novel and experimental approach, we take your own autologous blood or plasma and extrapolate the plasma from the blood cells and the, and the white blood cells. And we remove the platelets with this plasma. We, we then uh, concentrate it in a very specially approved FDA process where the platelets are concentrated to about 500 to 700% higher than what they're naturally found in the body. Uh, at that point, uh, a small sample of this uh, platelet-rich plasma is then injected similar fashion in how an egg retrieval is performed. So it's an ultrasound guided procedure that's done transvaginally and we inject about one to one and a half milliliters of this uh, platelet-rich plasma into each ovary. The goal of the platelet-rich plasma is to try and reduce the amount of primordial follicles that are becoming antral follicles from undergoing the natural process of dying or apoptosis. Uh, and in this process, we're hoping that we can augment and amplify the number of follicles available for stimulation during an IVF process uh, to increase the likelihood of obtaining a healthy egg that can create a live birth. One of the benefits or one of the ways that we think that the platelet-rich plasma works when you, we talk about injecting it into the ovary, this is called ovarian rejuvenation is the terminology that some people have used. It does not create new eggs. It doesn't stimulate um, uh, stem cells to create follicles and eggs. Uh, unfortunately, that to the best of our knowledge does not occur through this process, but it's just a way to increase the nutrients. And within platelets, there's about 30 different growth factors uh, and proteins, special proteins called cytokines that instruct the cells and hopefully reduce the chance of them from dying out and the follicles so we can amplify, uh, we can amplify the uh, number of follicles competing for ovulation within a future cycle. Some people will get an immediate effect within two weeks of the injections, and some will get it somewhere about 90 to 120 days later. So yeah, I always tell patients, if you look at the, um, some studies have shown a cumulative impact and effect, where if you do monthly injections spaced out roughly 30 days apart, you may improve the overall success of IVF cycles and the number of antral follicles uh, present uh, at the time of follicular ultrasound as well as the number of eggs retrieved and number of embryos formed. When we, there are some patients, 1% of our patients, uh, this technique has also been utilized for women with notoriously thin endometriums where they're unresponsive to any type of estrogen or hormonal therapy and um, despite all types of medications utilized do not have a lining that gets above six millimeters. 
Uh, for these women, endometrial PRP in some of the cases have been shown to uh, greatly improve not only the thickness of the lining but also the implantability of the embryos uh, when given in multiple courses throughout an embryo transfer cycle. Uh, only 1% of women have a thin endometrium or have a uterine factor uh, where it's the endometrium, the thinness is responsible for the low implantation. Even with low, with thin endometriums, there is still potential for implantation, but it's just at a markedly and uh, reduced rate. PRP has been used for both ovary and, and the endometrium and these are the applications. We're currently employing an experimental therapy at Generation Next Fertility. Again, I'm Dr. Jesse Hade at Generation Next Fertility. Thanks so much for watching this video. Greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, email or post them to us at generationnextfertility.com and we look forward from hearing from you.